There's an emergency room in New York City unlike any other. It's unique because it doesn't treat people. This ER performs triage on temperature control and ice protection systems. Cox and Company considers itself to be an ER because it has successfully diagnosed and solved problems for people with systems in trouble. It's not until they actually go out into the real world and discover that they have an icing problem. And in that case, the design is often way downstream, and then they have to come to somebody who can solve the problem quickly for them. Cox may be the last of the manufacturing firms in Manhattan, but this small, high-tech company believes the location works to its advantage. It's where we belong. All of our people come from the surrounding areas. We all commute into work. And it's a wonderful environment to, to do business. For more than five decades, Cox has been developing and supporting entire systems from the ground up, from design, through testing and manufacturing, to aftermarket support with spare parts and servicing. Their advanced temperature control and ice protection technologies and products are now standard in the aerospace and transit industries. For many years, Cox had been working on icing issues with NASA's Glenn Research Center. Then, in the mid-90s, they received awards from Glenn through the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program to develop an economical de-icing system for general aviation aircraft. We found out the problems with the industry, we found out the problems that NASA was interested in solving, and the relationship naturally grew out of that. Working with the Glenn researchers, the company successfully produced an economical de-icing system for general aviation planes. The system has been certified by the Federal Aviation Administration for use on a Raytheon business jet, and Cox now supplies Raytheon with products for the planes. While working on the de-icing technology for NASA, Cox built its own icing tunnel to conduct research. Today, engineers at Cox still work with the agency, as well as others who use their tunnel. We've been continuing that research, in some cases exchanging tunnel time with them for product development and basic research. The firm plans to expand the de-icing technology and product lines to other aircraft, including unmanned aerial vehicles. Cox's products are not only in the air. The majority of company employees ride trains in and out of Manhattan every day. About seven years ago, they began to see problems on the railroads with freezing issues and believed their ER could provide solutions. Moving their work into this arena was unnatural for the company. Cox heaters suddenly, which were recognized for the aerospace industry for over 50 years, are now the, the main heater, the, people that, uh, the, the company that people come to for heating transit products as well. The research and products originally developed for NASA actually spun into the rail transit applications and having that ability to transfer their technology is part of the company's success. We have diversified not only between military and commercial but greatly within each segment of military and commercial and then added on the transit business which really gives us a, a much greater level of effect. Acting like an ER does make Cox unique. Being located in Manhattan also makes Cox unique, but it's being an employee-owned and operated firm that makes it different for the staff. The caring that you have towards the company, the concern you have about your name going on every product and the quality that has to be in every product, it's a, it's a fantastic thing. And the people, we're like a family. We're all in it together. It's our business.